today for another video and it's a sit down video as y'all can see because this video is very very touchy to me um as y'all can see by the title i'm basically um it's like a story time mixed with current because it's just ever going it hasn't stopped but this is about how i found out that my dad has cancer um and it's just a really touchy subject for me i did get his he actually brought this to my attention that I should be vlogging and blogging about this. But um, I didn't know how I felt about that. I told y'all a little bit about it here and there. But I haven't really had a full sit down video with y'all and told y'all everything. Because it's just really touchy to me. And I know for a fact I'm going to get emotional. So I already got my tissue ready and everything. So if that does happen, I warned y'all. So basically... Um, I was in the hospital, as y'all know, I'm about to have a one-year-old. Um, let me rewind. So, October um, 13th of 2017, I was in labor, and my dad was also in the hospital while I was in the hospital. So, him and my mom couldn't be there through my labor um, for, like, a good part of my, so basically my whole labor, and I was very upset about it because I, for fact, wanted my mom there to hold my hand through everything. And I also wanted my dad there to see his um, granddaughter being born. It's his first granddaughter. He already has a grand um, son. So I was real upset about it because um, he was in the hospital. He was having problems in his stomach area, and the doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. He was having very, very bad pain. Um, and then they, he was admitted to the hospital for, I think he was there for a week. Um, he had been there for a week on the 13th. So on the 13th is when they found out what was going on with him. Um... But my mom didn't tell me what was going on. So as I was in labor, I ended up, she ended up coming right before they took me back from my C-section. Um, but she still didn't tell me what was going on because, of course, I was went for a serious surgery. And she didn't want to stress me out or anything like that with the news of what happened. So I didn't know what happened. I didn't know anything of what was going on. She kept, she kept everything together. Like, I couldn't, I don't know how she did it. So basically, fast forward a little bit. Um... I was out the hospital. It was the first day I was at the, out the hospital. Not the first day, the second day. Because I had to go get Leia some formula because I couldn't breastfeed. So the second day, we're in the car on the way um, back from getting the formula. And in the car was my little sister. I will never forget this day. Mom was in the driver's seat. My little sister was in the passenger seat. I was in the, it was, we were in the van. I was in the back seat right behind my mother. Next to me was Leia. And then in the back was LeClaire. So, um, as we were driving, we were getting close to my house. She was dropping me off back at home. And, um, during this time, I felt, she felt like she couldn't hold it in anymore. And my dad also wanted her to tell us. So, we are driving and we're approaching my house. Um, we're probably, I'll say, about five minutes from my house. And she tells me that they found out what was going on with him. And, um, that he wanted her to tell us. He didn't want to tell us himself because he didn't want to see our reactions. And I under, completely understood why he didn't want to see our reactions. Sorry, y'all. So, she proceeds to tell us that, um, y'all, I'm starting already, that um, it's cancer. And as soon as I heard that, I got, I was really sad, but I'm like, okay, we can beat this. Um, is We can just do the chemo and be strong and uplift him through the entire process or whatever. So, that wasn't the case. So, she told us it was pancreatic cancer. I have never, ever in my life heard of pancreatic cancer. I didn't know anything about it, what it was, or anything. And she told me, the first thing, mama know me, I, re I research everything. I go straight to Google. Whenever something wrong with anybody, I go right to Google and go right to it and see what, what it is. She told me, do not go to the internet. Do not search anything. Don't do that. But me, no, I'm going to figure out what's going on with my daddy. I'm going to search what it is and why he has gotten his disease or whatever. So after she says the name of the disease, she says, don't search it. Then, I, okay, so I'm like, what stage is it in? Like, what stage does he have? And she then she says that it's stage four. After that, I lost it, y'all. I, I tried to keep it together because I know my mama tried to keep it together for all of us, but I couldn't anymore 
because finding out your father has stage four cancer at only 43 years old is ridiculous. And the cancer, the reason why she told me not to search it was because there isn't a cure. There's no cure for pancreatic cancer. Um, the only thing she said, the doctor, I didn't find this out right away neither. She just told us that we're to pray and we're going to fight this thing and do the best we can with it. I went home and I researched everything and I seen that there wasn't a cure. The only way stage four patients can ask, ask how long did he have left and she wouldn't tell me. I go home and y'all, it says six months to one year. That's it. Normal pancreatic cancer stage four patient, patients don't live past a year. And that broke my heart. I cannot, what first thing that came to my mind was that my father's not gonna be here for my wedding. He, he can't see the rest of his grandchildren being born. He can't see me turn into what I wanted to be and be successful. He can't see any of this. And like, I'm only 20, y'all. And me imagining living without my dad this young is, I can't, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. So, um, let's see. I'm sorry, y'all. So my mom then told us um, that he was going to start treatment right away and that chemo would basically be the only way to keep him comfortable. Chemo would not heal him. It's only to keep him comfortable for whatever time he has left with us. And that's horrible for somebody to potentially live their last days um, on, on chemo. So right now, my father has had this disease it's going to be a year on Leia's birthday on October 13th. And I feel like when I got pregnant with Leia, I felt so bad because I know my parents wanted more for me. I always had dreams of going to college, going to Westerford College, being in the medical field, doing a whole lot. And I got, I was really discouraged. And I just, I was feel like I let them down once I got pregnant. But now I see what God was doing because I had Leia on the day my dad found out the worst news of his life. And Leia is like his guardian angel in a way. So I, God knew exactly what he was doing. So I don't feel bad about getting pregnant young and having her. But fast forward, um, I live in a separate home from my parents. I moved out once I got pregnant. So I'll say a good month in into the disease, my daddy started chemo. He started chemo right away. And he was doing chemo every other week. So he'll go one week and have chemo for the seven days. And then the next week he'll be off chemo. And that's just not a way for someone to live. And in the beginning, it was very rough for him. He wouldn't eat. He was sick all the time. Um, it was just rough. And me being that I'm at home, I only saw him on his good week and on the weekends, majority of the time. So once I finally went over there, I seen how much he had changed, y'all. And it was so hard to watch. Like, my mom and my sister didn't see what I saw because they see him every day and they don't see the drastic changes that he was going through. So I saw him losing all his weight. I saw how how weak he looked, no matter how much, I'm sorry y'all, no matter how much he tried to stay strong, I saw it all. And that was really hard for me. And it got to the point where I didn't know how to handle it. So I would try to not come around or I would even, when I went around, I would try to not look at him in his face because I didn't want him to see uh, how much it was affecting me because, you know, you got to be strong for your parents. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not. Oh, Lord. I did not think this video was going to be this hard. But, yeah, you got to be strong for your parents and... That's why I would I wouldn't even look at him. But fast forward, um, he's um still stage four. His cancer, his um the reason why I was stage four, it was primarily in his pancreas, but it has spread to his liver. And when it spreads anywhere to like the major organs, they can't perform surgery to save him. So, um in a lot of cases, the the chemo, like I said, just keeps them around and keeps them comfortable. But, um, so the chemo initially started shrinking his, um, the lesions in his liver and it was shrinking his tumor. But his last scan, probably about, a, uh, like two weeks ago, 
his tumor started to grow so they had to stop the treatment and I done read so many stories and researched this disease so much that because they stopped treatment it could grow like super fast and just take that person out and right now uh, my dad wasn't having he was sick on his chemo weeks but um he he wasn't having any pain like that but now he's in a whole lot of pain and you can see you can see him grabbing at his back his stomach he you can see that it's taking a toll on him and like i said it's just hard to watch i don't know how my mom does it she's so strong um i know she has her days but she is so strong i'm not sure how my little sister is doing and because she's the they, she's living right there seeing everything um and I, I talk to my daddy every day we video chat every day until i go over there to see them um and we talk and some of the conversations after we get off the phone i bawl my eyes out because it's just so sad like he'll tell me how rough his night was um and how the disease is doing him and how he tried to stay strong for us and don't want us to know like how he really feel he he's told me so much and i don't know i just want to share my story because i know somebody else um is going through this and having a, a parent a people i know tons of people has lost their parents to cancer and going through with their parents i know a lot of people are so um oh yeah i look a mess <clears throat> so yeah i just wanted to come on here and share my story as of right now today is um august 29th it'll be they say normally stage four patients last a year it'll be a year october so this is killing me just to think on um, what if he doesn't make it there or if that may be it afterwards um right now he's on a chemo break and like i said it scared me every day i'm not sure the other day he was almost on his way to the hospital because it was so rough for him the pain and they really can't do nothing when he go all they can do is give him some more pain medicine he's on like the highest pain medicine at home already so they can't really do anything they can't save him and that's what kills me but i have great faith in god he started radiation on tuesday and he wanted me to come on here i already vlog everything i vlog all the holidays i make sure i record everything just in case anything happens i'll be able to look back on it that's why i record everything and that's why i do youtube um and he told we had a talk today well yesterday and he told me that he said why don't you why don't you vlog my journey or whatever i'm like i don't i didn't think you would want me to because a lot of times i put the camera on him and he has changed his body has changed everything and he just didn't want to be on camera but now he's giving me the okay to do this so i'm about to do this full force i'm recording his doctor's appointments um i'm recording my journey dealing with this i'm recording everyone's journey basically because this is taking a toll on all of us but i know it's hardest on him because he doesn't want to leave us and we don't want we don't want him to leave us either but like i said our faith in god is so strong and i know he's going to pull us all through this and i believe he's taking us through this to get all of us closer and to know learn a real meaning of family um and yeah so he starts radiation on tuesday i'm vlogging he told me he gave me the okay to do it he just didn't want me to when the doctors you know are talking saying personal information i'm just gonna you know mute that part out so that's not broadcasted to the world but i definitely am um it's going to start vlogging this journey this emotional difficult journey but we're praying so hard that this radiation does something because the liver lesions are shrinking those are doing well it's just his pancreas we need that to shrink but if we can kill those cancer cells it may save his life so that's all we're praying for this is just a really hard journey one of the hardest we have ever dealt with in our life we none of us saw this coming but god does everything for a reason he doesn't make any mistakes so that's all we keep at the back of our minds um sorry y'all for getting so emotional i just can't help it um i love my parents to death they're everything to me and yeah i just felt the need to come on here and do this video so yeah as y'all know my new uploading schedule is monday wednesdays and fridays so i didn't upload yesterday 
because I was just dealing with too much. Like, y'all, this takes so much. It takes a big toll on my body. I'm stressed majority of the time. I'm losing weight. And it's because I don't know what's going to happen. I need to just put it in all in God's hands and live because you never know when it's your time. And this has really shown me, like, you never know when it's your time. Um, but I just ask for all of y'all prayers for me and my family and my dad especially. And I just ask that y'all be here with me, y'all. Like, my therapy I come to YouTube because it helps me. Um, if I didn't have YouTube, I don't know where I would be as far as a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Um, thank y'all for listening to my story. Um, like I said, I'm 20 years old. My dad is 43. And we, we did not see this coming. And it can happen to anyone. It can happen to me. You just never know. You just want to take care of yourself. Stay at the doctor's office, y'all. My dad was one to never. He never, like, went to the doctor until it was absolutely necessary um but make sure you guys take care of yourselves constant physicals and checkups and scans make sure you don't have anything that's very very serious because it could potentially save your life so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs this video up comment hit the bell to get all my notifications and subscribe to see more updates about my father i will be doing he will be in the vlogs more y'all know i vlog all the time but if you're not a regular, you'll be seeing him much more. And I'll probably do an introduction video for him so y'all can actually meet him because y'all just see him here and there. But now that he wants me to get me to go ahead to do a segment on my channel about this, I'm going to go ahead and start. So like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.